to part two of this lovely sunset reflections. Um, in this part, we're going to focus on all of these lovely, gorgeous reflections here, and we're going to put in some lovely little boats with masts and all that kind of thing. So it's going to be really great fun. I hope you've enjoyed part one. That was really, really enjoyable. I loved painting these lovely, rich, rich colours, and uh, you're doing fantastic. Uh, once again, thank you for all your support and your help. You're very, very generous, and I appreciate your lovely, lovely, kind comments, and you're really helping me along, pushing me along. So thank you very, very much for that. Okay, let's grab our brushes and paints and canvases, and uh, let's have a bit of fun and finish this gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. And at the very end, we'll stick a lovely frame on it, see how it looks, yes? All right, one, off you go, and join me back here in just a moment. Okay, here we go. There is the picture, isn't that gorgeous? Lovely, rich, warm colours. Now, I did kind of change it just a little bit, some of the clouds. But we can, if you want, we can add to, the, to, add to all this, and we can maybe soften some bits out and add some bits in. So we can, we can do as we like with this. Now, I have a little bit of masking tape across here. I'm just going to take that off. And that will reveal a lovely, clean line. Look at that. Isn't that just so satisfying? Look at that. Now, I do, of course, have next to me a nice cup of tea, Irish tea. There we go. You know, you have to have the tea and coffee. Keep yourself, keep yourself going. And my brushes. Now, I'm thinking what brush will I use for this? Uh, let's see. I go for a nice medium kind of a flat. Um, or even the medium stubby brush would do just fine also. Perhaps I'll just use this. And the next step, basically, you can... Now, it's very, very easy to overcomplicate this. But when I'm thinking about something like this, I try and simplify it as best I can. So what I'm thinking is just basically reflecting the colours down, but they're going to be that much, that little bit richer. So they're going to be slightly darker than the sky if you understand what I mean. Um, so here we go, stubby brush, medium stubby brush. I'll dampen it again slightly and I'll just soak off the excess. And again, it's a good idea to have plenty of tissue nearby. And let's try some yellow. Let's go with some yellows in this. And again, I'm not gonna make it too wet because I want it to kind of stick as well. So a little bit of cadmium yellow. And I might take a touch of, now we have two reds, we have a cadmium red and a crimson, a lizard crimson. Which one do you think we should try to make a nice warm colour? I'm thinking perhaps cadmium red. Let's try a little cadmium. So I'm going to now use this for the centre, just here with the sky. Now that's very luminous, isn't it? It's a very rich kind of luminous colour. Cadmium yellow is a very luminous colour, so I'm going to take a touch of Naples yellow in that, and then again a touch of red, cadmium red, and the Naples yellow will kind of make it slightly opaque, understand? So it's not as vibrant and as luminous. So this is a bit better. Um, it's covering the board much better also. And I'm going to go along then just at the top. And I'm going to push down hard on my brush. And that will give me a nice, clean, straight line. See? So I'm pushing right down now. There we go, right across that line. Don't worry if you make a mistake, we can go back over the mistakes. Okay? Don't worry if you don't get it perfect first time. And then let's soft, gently pull that colour right in there. So now we have the basic colour of the sky above us. Would you agree? Nice warm colour. I'm going to start adding more pinks and reds into this now. I'm going to take a little more cadmium red. And I'm going to start, see, I'm going to start gently softening that colour in, here and there. And as I come across, then it starts to get quite pinky, doesn't it? So I might take a touch of alizarin crimson, and then another touch of cadmium yellow. And the paint now is getting quite thick. It's lovely and thick. There's not very much thinners in this at all. And again, let's push down, hard on the brush. There we go. Now you see, 
my line is kind of these mountains are pretty much dry touch dry okay but if they're still wet you could actually soften this line with your blender brush very gently across and that would give a lovely soft misty effect off in the distance also but because I left the sky for a day or so um, it's not it's not blendable but if you're painting this from start to finish you could absolutely soften those two lines together just soften them right across with a soft brush very very gently okay I'm going to start putting some nice warmer colors in over there I think a touch more crimson and I might take a touch of burnt sienna as well and just on this side look I want to soften that color because what I'm thinking of I'm thinking of this of these colors but a much richer version now that can be quite tricky to get right um, trying to envisage, envisage a darker shade but it's kind of pra it's practice really it's just trial and error and practice now so I just took some crimson and burnt cyanide there and I'm going to go as far as there and I might bring a little bit of that colour in just here also now let me sit back just sit back and take a look at this I know now it's completely different to the photograph the photograph is very cold and cool on this side isn't it but look we can work some colours into it alright not to worry not to worry at all um, one thing that I notice on the horizon line on the photograph there's no reflections of these mountains okay it's just a nice crisp line now we could put a few of them in if you wanted um, but we don't really have to it's personal preference really I quite like that kind of solid that solid line across there is quite nice isn't it and bear in mind we're going to have a lot of boats to break this line up there's going to be a lot of masts and boats and all sorts of things along the water so I suppose it's neither here or there it doesn't really matter I'm going to start putting in some nice cool colours so I'm going to go from an orange to a very kind of a mauve pink all right so I'm going to dip my brush in my turpentine just once and I'm going to soak most of that colour off there look there we go and then I'm going to dampen it very slightly again just with the corner of the brush just barely and I'll take some crimson and I'm going, to, I'm going to take some Naples yellow lots of Naples yellow and I'm just going to try that first there now okay I'll soften that across just very gently just for now and I'll go up into the orange slightly okay I'm going to just dry off my brush and go back into some white and I'm going to take plenty of white and I'm going to bring the white across over this yellow here because again I don't want any greens on my canvas on my board so I'm putting this layer of pink just through the yellow and it's picking up the yellow as well you see so it's turning nice kind of a salmony color a peachy kind of a color as well which is good so now we have just lovely lovely soft colors now coming across you see there and then I'm going to dry my brush again look I'm just drying it with the tissue like this that's all give it a good dry and let's start going into some some more kind of mauve colors so let's try a touch of thalo blue which is very rich and some crimson now I'm going to put more red than blue in this okay it's going to be more of a plummy a plummy kind of a color so plenty of pink and then more white again now more pink it's still a bit on the cool side there that's a little better it's like a plummy grapey kind of a color you see now it's not on the sky but I'm just going to add a little tiny touch of it in here and there and then soften that gently upwards very gently don't go too far up into the orange just a little bit and then I clean my brush and I'm going to pick up lots of white and then a bit of blue so now we're starting to go more blue see and 
and my brush is quite dry it's a very very dry brush now you see very 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 dry and then I come across here soften it across I need to get more white my white is gone now I need to be very very careful with this section here because I don't want to be putting blue on top of this because it will go kind of a funny green so I'm not going to put too much blue on it but we have a very kind of a pale greeny blue anyhow don't we so let's try and create that with a touch of Naples yellow some white and a touch of that phthalo blue now again I want this very very pale um, I'll take a bit more blue that might be a bit too greeny still so I'm, I keep looking around the painting and if a colour is kind of sticking out a bit too much then I'll maybe change it slightly so now let me just pull that right across there now soften this right across then I'll dry my brush I'll pick up a little bit of the whitey blue there just a little bit and just go across very gently over that orange soften it across so that little bit of white just neutralizes the greens you see it doesn't go too green now I know there's a hint of it in the sky anyway but I don't want it going very very green now I might add a touch, touch more blue on this side so let's take a touch of phthalo on its own just a tiny bit and pull a little bit of that across there we go okay let me sit back now and take a look and see what we think that's not it's not bad all right look we'll we'll chance it next of all i'm going to reflect some of the clouds down into the water yes and for that i might take my small stubby brush okay nice clean stubby brush and I'm going to mix some nice dark colours now. I'm going to take some crimson, some phthalo blue, and again I'm keeping it on the red side. Uh, so a bit more crimson into that. Let's nice rich winey kind of a plum. And with that colour, I'm going to just very loosely suggest these clouds there, okay? Like so. Uh, now if we think it's a bit dark let's add a bit touch more red to that and we have another big one that comes up like that I'm just very loosely following the shape of the cloud because of course we're going to be softening all of this in with our blender brush anyway so not to worry too much not to worry and okay let's bring it out there like that uh, we have some bits so I'm following this you see this angle of this warm color I'm going to do the same here so I'm just going to go like that it's only just a very loose impression that's all I'm only going for that and we have a bit that comes up here so it's lightening as it goes into the blue so I'll just darken it again very very slightly with more paint okay there we go and we have a couple kind of floating along here and there don't we perhaps let's take a bit more blue in this and suggest a couple of those bluey ones sort of popping across here and there And with some lovely orange ones in just in the center don't we so let's take some cadmium red with lots of cadmium yellow and just give it a small mix and let's see if we can create a few of these because they're quite nice i like them ah that's not bad now is it um one just around there and then i might add some of this orange just to some of those to suggest that little bit of light 
just in there um, little touch of that color here and there on the clothes and keep the brush nice and clean in between all right uh, let's put a couple let's suggest one or two around here and we have some nice rich kind of this yellow so we have to be very careful with that because we're going into a kind of a bluey color so i'm going to use again a touch of red in this now plenty of white and let's just put a flick of that across here and there see uh, pick up a bit more see little touches here and there and then I'll come over and suggest one or two of those they're quite nice I like them ones and they're more pink aren't they so let's take a bit more crimson with a touch a touch of white and let's just suggest uh, okay let's just suggest one here and you see I'm doing it very quickly I'm not thinking about it too much this one here and perhaps a small one just popping along there and at this stage I'll take my soft brush and I'm going to soften very gently left and right soften those in and really soften them into the water now don't be shy there go right over these And I'm thinking I might add some nice ripples in here and there also with this with this brush or with the um, with the small one rather. Now I'll just sit back and take a quick look at this and see how this is looking. Bearing in mind now there's going to be, as I said before, there's going to be lots of boats and bits and pieces covering a lot of this. So I just want to leave this impression there. You see? Um, now you could if you wanted. Let me just see here now a moment. Let me just sit back, take a look at this. Uh, what I might do is actually with the palette knife, I'll take a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of white. And I'm going to come over here and put some light from the sun hitting the water, okay? I'm just basically scraping it left and right. And I'm pulling it down as I go. Okay, now, that'll do fine. I'll clean my palette knife again. Um, okay, let me see. I might, I might start putting in some of the boats along this side. How about that? Yes? So the boats basically, will I zoom in here for you and show you so you can see, get a better view of what I'm doing. Let me just fill the canvas with the painting here now, yes? There we go. Now, that's better now, isn't it? So it's just clumps of boats, basically. And there are some very dark and kind of purpley colours and all that kind of stuff going on. So I'll use, I think, my small stubby brush. I'll take a touch of black. And I'm just using mostly just paint on its own here, okay? And I'll take a touch of cadmium red just to warm it slightly and with that thick paint I'm just going to go along and first of all just kind of block in areas and suggest that there is just a lot going on okay now I picked up some red on its own and I'm going to soften some red into that so it's like a warm warm browny red it's just about really suggesting to the viewer that we have lots of things going on off here in the distance um, 
it's where all the boats come in so they're going to have little bits and pieces sticking up and they're going to have you know lots of different um types of boats lots of different types of wood there's just there's loads and loads of stuff going on so it's about just creating an impression of a very busy harbour and a very busy kind of a scene if you could say that you see I'm just kind of going up here and there putting lots of uprights and uh, lots of horizontals in now these could be anything they could be you know little huts they could be uh, timber poles sticking up to be parts of boats all that kind of thing so I just worried not really about getting the background in first now I'll take some blue and some pink so I want to get some nice shadows going on here and there and we may even use a lot of knife work later on so it's it's basically I suppose trying to make it look like a busy a busy part of the painting it's just brush strokes and marks with the brush I'm not painting um, do you know when I paint this I'm not physically thinking oh this is going to be a little boat this is going to be a little hot I'm just suggesting shapes to the viewer to understand and the viewer then can fill in the blanks your mind will automatically just fill the blanks in so let's try okay let's try making a nice dark shadowy color I'll take some phthalo blue little touch of white and some crimson and I'm going to start suggesting some shadows some little warm shadows here and there see I'm just suggesting things I'm going to get started just give it a wipe on the tissue and go back into that color again I could even add a touch more blue here and there so you can begin to start you know picking shapes out and it's beginning to kind of unfold isn't it now I'm just going to take a bit of black with some blue and I'm going to suggest some little things off in the distance here as well Okay, that could be the back end of one of the boats and I'll take some cyanide and put another dab here and there so the boats looking straight ahead and we could have little bits of everything you see um, I'll come over here and try putting little one here and I'm thinking now I might start hmm I'll take my small brush and I'll start putting in suggestions of some masts and all that kind of thing so I'll wet that I'll put some black some nice watery black on that and I'm going to just literally start putting some flicks down here and there see one or two here and there, one or two just dot them around it's just really to fill the landscape in the back so we have lots of masts then off in the distance from loads of boats kind of clumped together put some very big ones up there as well I'm just trying to simplify it now that's all Okay, so slowly, slowly but surely, 
you can see it's starting to take shape each layer I put on is a new a new fresh layer you see now I'm taking some white with some blue and I'm just going to suggest one or two highlights on some of these okay just a suggestion and I've been very loose just kind of dotting them around here and there and you could even suggest some loose little shapes okay then I clean my brush and I might go with some cadmium yellow and white and put a few of these this colour and some of these ones here where they're kind of closest to the sun and add little touches of colour and of course I'm going to put some reflection of some of these um, coming down as well so I'll just give it like a in slight indication of the reflection just there let me get some white alright and even the boat itself I might suggest a little bit just a touch yes so it's nice and loose now I think I might start suggesting some um, little boats and things like that so I'm going to go with some lighter colour, so some phthalo blue, lots of white and a touch of cadmium red this time and I'm going to just start suggesting um, like the hulls of some of the boats, okay? Now we have a lot of boats here, there's lots of different things going on so I'm just going to keep it simple you, it, it'll be very difficult to pick out individual boats, especially in a scene like this. So it's kind of more or less just impression and hint of boats here and there. I will go in with some detail in a moment. Now I just want to get some of these in. Um, I might take a touch of cadmium red and a touch of Naples yellow. I might suggest a couple of those nice warm colours and suggest a flick of some of them, you see? Just here and there. And uh, perhaps some Naples yellow on its own. Then perhaps a little touch of white. Uh, but remember, a lot of this is in shadow, so I don't want to be going with very, very bright colours. And I'll get a hint of some of those reflections down as well. So we're getting there slowly, aren't we? Very, very, very slowly, but we are getting there. Now, let me... Um, I'm wondering, should I try some of the palette knife, perhaps? Let me try some of the palette knife. Let's try it. Okay, I'll just take a clump of white with a little touch of blue and a little touch of red. And I'm going to just go along and suggest little details here and there. Perhaps a couple of masts like this with the corner of the knife. A 
again just making the scene look nice and busy in the background all right that's all i'm trying to do and i know i keep saying it but that's re i'm really trying to emphasize simplicity with this um okay we might have we might have a couple going this way all right coming down like so and let's try i might try a little burnt sienna add a touch of brown in here and there okay there we go and maybe a touch of black on the palette knife so i'll scrape off a tiny bit of black and let's go up here with some of that and you see the way it's kind of hit, hitting and missing it's not a solid line and it's lots of fun kind of creating just impressions like this now i will take a small pointy brush okay a little detail brush and i am going to just kind of add some proper details here and there so i'll probably just take a little white with a touch of blue and a touch of cadmium red and i might define some of the boats um, i think it's a good idea to have some definition on some of them and let's try some naples yellow little touch of naples yellow here and there So you can see now I'm just I'm very slowly sharpening some of the details as I go. Um, okay, I'll sharpen some of these kind of timber planks and stuff like that. Now it's starting to look nice and busy, isn't it? We're really kind of creating a nice busy atmospheric kind of a a boat scene here okay little touches of white here and there also look nice bright white just little dots that's all i'm doing and put a couple over here and what i might do is bring some of the color from the sunset over to this side so let's take some cadmium yellow and i'll take a touch of cadmium red and a touch of white and look i'll add little flicks of that orange here and there also and it just brings the color across there we go see it's nice now isn't it it's just picking up some warm color so you have to cool against the warm then as well and i'll put a hint of it on some of the boats here and there as well okay let me just soften this one here in the middle and it's time i think to step back take a look um okay i might get some dark brown and work away on some details here with some of that so dark, any dark brown or even a touch of black if you like and i'll go along and suggest maybe a little wind, couple of windows here and there on the boats again it's a loose impression that's all i'm going for just here and there Now also I want to put in some of the reflections of some of these masts. So I'm going to take a little bit of dark brown perhaps, with a touch of black maybe. And wherever you see a very dark one, just basically come along with that and give it a couple of little wiggles. Look, see? 
And then we've a couple of ones here. I just want to suggest some reflections of these. Okay, you understand? And we could even reflect some of those boats. So we have some nice light colored boats here and there. Uh, okay, let's put some of those down. And then I'll soften them down very gently. I'm just pulling everything down now, even some of those masts. And then very gently, you can pull across them, you see? And by pulling across them like this, you're actually creating some of the ripples and the reflections. Okay? Now, let me try some with the palette knife also. We have some light ones as well, don't we? There's a couple of light ones here and there. I'm just kind of picking them out in clumps wherever I see a real bright one. So it's here, for example, and we've one that kind of comes across there like that. This one is quite bright, isn't it? Um, let's put a little dab of white just for that. And perhaps there. I'm not going to overcomplicate all of this now, I just want to keep it nice and loose and sort of free. Um, okay, we have a couple of little reflections going on there. And then I'll pull gently across these again, look, very gently. So now, now how are we looking? It's coming on. It's coming on not bad now at the moment. Right, I'm going to put some ripples in. And I will take this palette knife with a little white and a touch of the, let's say a touch of the blue. Small touch of the blue. And maybe a touch of pink as well. I'm just going to suggest a couple of small ripples here and there. And it's only just to break up the reflections, that's all really. And again, it kind of adds another layer on top, doesn't it? So even cut through some of the clouds there, look. And come over here then, take an extra little bit of white. And let's just suggest a couple there. I'll take my soft brush and I'll soften across them very gently. Now you could use even a bit more white in this if you wanted. And in fact I probably still will go back over some of these. But for now, just as the tutorial I'll just leave well alone, should I? shouldn't I? Okay, let me step back there and I'll take a look at this. Yeah, that's coming on nice. I'm going to put one or two closer boats up front here. And let me see, can you see over to this side of the board? You can. <coughs> I'm going to take some burnt cyanide and burnt umber. Or Van Dyke Brown, whichever one you have. They're both pretty much the same. And I'm going to suggest a nice boat here. So, because it's next to the sun, it's going to be that much more warmer in colour. Okay. And I'll put some black on the back end of it. And then, into the water again, I'll reflect some of that colour. I'm just drawing my brush on tissue as I go, when I'm switching colours, you see. Okay, 
um, maybe just some burnt sienna on its own let's say around here I'll put a small one across here and I'll put a little cabin on it and I'll suggest with some Naples yellow I'll suggest a cabin on this one again clean our tissue and suggest a little reflection Okay. You all follow me along okay out there? Pull this very gently down. Pull this one very gently down. Pull across it. Just to soften it in slightly. And we'll put a little, little of that light blue just underneath. Just to give it a little bit of life in the reflection and then I shall grab my small pointy brush I'll take a little dark brown and just get some little details here and there on the boat Just some small details, that's all. Um, a little rope coming off of this one, perhaps, for the anchor. And perhaps one coming off of that. Suggesting little details here and there on the boat. Uh, perhaps take some Naples yellow with some white. Popping in some little lights here and there. Okay, I will take some cadmium red and some cadmium yellow and suggest some nice warm colour on the front of that from the sun, where the sun is hitting it. And perhaps do the same with one or two of these off in the distance. I'll take my palette knife and suggest a nice big mast on this one like so and even suggest one or two little ropes coming down off of it like so and then take a touch of black perhaps put a touch of black in underneath it there it's just adding a bit of detail and depth that's all and of course, we will have a little tiny reflection of that mast, just a little bit. Don't want to go too, too overboard with it. And a little bit there for the rope. Um, okay, let's add a little bit of burnt sienna to this one, off in the distance. And I'm going to add a touch of Sienna with yellow, just to one or two of those. Just add a little bit of warmth again into them. Now you can go as far as you want with a lot of this kind of stuff, or you can just keep it simple. It's completely up to yourself. I won't go overboard, I don't think. I'll just try to keep it nice and simple. Okay, let's sit back and take a look. So you can see now we have a nice busy kind of um, a landscape coming on, don't we? Nice busy, lots of boats and all that kind of thing. I think I might just add a few more masts in over there with a little black. Just to create more of an impact, I think. There's one there. Um, perhaps even a bit of dark brown.
and let's put one here and just get lots of details well not details impressions of details I'd say and lastly I'll take a little white just a small bit of white and I'll just come along underneath here and put in plenty of ripples just along there look really break up the water just over there and there we are now I think I might just leave it at that because you know I could be here another two hours three hours fiddling away with little bits here and little bits there um, but as a tutorial I feel like I've captured um, the photograph I feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve and um, you know as I said you can keep going yourself you can add a few more boats uh, you can even refine the boats a little bit more bring them out a bit but I think that's kind of pretty much what I wanted to show you just as a very quick tutorial perhaps we could add a couple of our birds in just to break up that sky a little so let's take a little black and put in a couple of birds uh, let's put another one here and I think I'll go for one more maybe further up there we are last but not least our signature and that means at least once it's signed we can sell it isn't that right now let me just get some black on my brush here s conway that's stephen conway and we forgot one more very important part didn't we a frame we have a frame i actually made a frame for this believe it or not now let me zoom back temporarily while i get a nice frame for this there we go right as they say here's one i made earlier oh sorry sorry about that and this is the frame it needs a, it needs a second coat of paint but for that i think doesn't that look stunning and i'm selling this now if anybody is interested i'm selling this painting and it's going to be very cheap maybe 300 or something like that look at that isn't that just amazing so let me zoom in now very slowly and show you this nice impression that we've put. They're lovely those boats, aren't they? I love those boats. So you could kind of do something similar to those on the other side if you wanted. Isn't that just gorgeous? And you can see, it's just suggestions of little boats. It's just marks with a brush, that's all. You know, it's, um, there's not a huge amount of detail there, really. And up into the clouds, We have a couple of little birds flying across and there you have it there you have it my friends reflection tutorial number three finished so now let me point the camera down towards myself so you're looking down on me there we go wasn't that lovely? I really enjoyed that. That was fantastic. Now I might just kind of tip away adding tiny little details here and there, maybe just to one or two of those reflections. Then still need a couple of darks I think in some of the reflections, some of those masts perhaps. Um, but yes, I'm very happy with that. That's looked lovely. Let me know what you think and I hope you give it a try and uh, you know, keep it simple show me what you're doing i'd love to see how you can interpret this um, into your own type of uh, techniques 
Um, so yes, yeah, thank you very much. If you want any of those stubby brushes, just give me an email, I'll send them to you. Uh, go on off now and have a bit of fun. I'm going to get a cup of coffee now and I might tip away with this for maybe the next 10-15 minutes. Just refine some of, the, some of those little boards, just to bring them out that little bit more. But in general, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Subscribe for all the latest videos. And uh, thank you very, very much for your support. And also, there's plenty of other tutorials over on Patreon if you want to go and check them out, whichever site the link is on. And uh, I will see you back here next week with a lovely wine glass tutorial. Okay? Go on off and I'll see you later. God bless you all and happy painting.